even though they were bitter enemies for a long time later on. The first contact between the Dark Shogunate and the Shek Kingdom was neutral, if not cautiously friendly. If the Hundred Guardians who dealt with that first expedition knew how much Shek blood would be spilled in the future, protecting their last cities from the Dark King's armies, I wonder, how would they react to Rey and his team? Would they openly attack, trying to get rid of the future enemy? Or would they perhaps revel in knowing what glorious battle awaits them, even though it could spell nothing but doom for the helpless Shek Kingdom? Like a phoenix from the ashes he rises, he looks around where is he now? The trays and imprisoned for Hey guys, I'm Kiriko, welcome back to Kenshi, Legend of the Dark King. Welcome back. So as you can see, the expedition forces are ready to go out there again. And how about we go? How about we go? So I made the expedition slightly smaller than last time. Uh, just because... Hey, Pico, get back here. Just because uh, I am expecting to get a couple more recruits once again, so, you know... I don't necessarily want this expedition to be too big. Now, we do have some beakers out here, so if uh, some of you guys could take care of those beakers, that'd be great. Thank you. I, I would prefer not to go fight those big boys right now. Good, that's one down. Can you uh, take down, let's say, the smaller boy as well? I would appreciate that. You know. Take the smaller boy. Yeah, there you go. Now, you, now you're talking. We gotta have plenty of fights ahead of us. No need to fight out here with beakers right now. Because they might just cause issues. I'll let these two eat over here. I'm sure they're gonna be just fine. Are you gonna take this one out or... What are you waiting for? What the hell are you waiting for? Okay. So, um, we have Ray, Stilo, Hazard, Clank, Gnu... Fenner, Guts, Maul, Severo, Shirudo, Armer, Coyoteno, Bane, Jiro, N473, and Wildfire going out. And of course we have our trusty pack animals and doggos. I took uh, Stevo with us this time around as well. Because I have a feeling we're gonna... Uh, well, last episode... Well, last... Not episode, but last expedition. We didn't have enough inventory space. So definitely could use some more of that. Uh, let's... Have you go here and be on hold. And let's get Stilo. You take care of one. Ray, you take care of the other. That should be easy enough. Just, you know, go in there. There you go. Smack those beakers. Oh, these guys are coming to help. Cool. I don't think that there's need for that. It's easy enough for us to deal with on our own. Good stuff. They're gonna go back, but Tink and Tonk are not. Okay, so let's send Tink and Tonk manually back. The rest are gonna be fine. Good stuff. Where are... Oh, I was like, where is everybody? And they're right here. <laughs> I don't know how I missed them, but I missed them. Good stuff that these guys came out. The rain still took no damage, which is even better. And they destroyed stuff. Uh, so I gave Ray back a plank. We'll find him a better weapon. I know we're gonna find him a better weapon in the Shacklands. So, Shacklands is where we're gonna go. There's no doubt about that. I think the Sway Station is gonna be our first stop. And then we go down this way. And so on and so forth. How about you don't go near this wall because I'm afraid somebody's gonna glitch in. That would be great. Also, my apologies. In the last episode... Uh, I had prepared which uh, stories I'm gonna read, but then I got so into this whole base building stuff that I just, you know, forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry for that. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do better this time around. I promise. There's not much Gnu can recall after rebooting. 
He woke up surrounded by skellies and cannibals, all dead of course, up in the northwest, so no help there working out what the hell happened. Going by the damage he had taken, it must have been one hell of a battle. Nu was pretty sure he should have died, but for a bon soul who repaired him in the last minute and left a note on his face saying, head back to Black Desert Southern Base. So Gnu started walking southeast, his armor and weapons missing or broken, so he grabbed whatever he could find and headed off. And that's where we found you Gnu, that's where we found you. Welcome to the squad buddy, I mean I said that before but still welcome to the squad, I'm glad we have you over here uh, with your nice beautiful moon cleaver. I love these weapons, moon cleavers are fun and of course he has this uh, Fancy armor as well. I like I like him. I like his loadout right now. Um, we'll of course improve that in the future, but hey, it's uh, it's pretty solid right now. So we're on our way to that way station, and uh, as I said, I'm gonna try reading more stories this episode just because we missed out some last time. But you never know. Maybe there's gonna be so much happening that there's not gonna be time for stories. Well, as soon as we transitioned into Avenge, we got hit by one of the goddamn beams. Get out of here. Oh my god, that that was the worst. That was the worst. Go heal up everybody. <sighs> that, was, that was real bad. Not everybody got hit though. So that's lucky. Looks like Guts, Severo. Oh, anybody else? No, just Guts and Severo. So that's lucky actually. Yeah, damn Vange, you see, we just transitioned in, got hit. I think that's wolves up there. Yeah, let's not go get hit by those wolves. Actually, we are here. This is not supposed to be Vange yet, but this is definitely Vange. Uh, we're, I just wanted, you know, to run on the edge of Vange, but I get it was too close to the edge. It would probably be safer to just run through Deadlands, but in any case, we need to get there. That's where we want to go, into this corner, so we can go to Smuggler's Bar, and then onwards to Glory. Now, which way you take that path, you know what, it's up to you, but it looks like they're gonna go through the Deadlands. It shouldn't be too much acid damage on uh, our flashier people. Really shouldn't be a problem. But I guess we'll see soon. There's a bigger group of dust bandits following us. But it doesn't seem like they are gonna attack us. Hello, friends. Oh, they wanted to talk to me. Uh, we could give them money, but how about we fight for that money, boys? Attack all. Show me what you can do, bandits. Show me what you can do. Our mayor, show them what you can do. Oh, he blocked you quite nicely. Oh, he didn't block that. He didn't block that one. Get destroyed, son. Yeah, these guys are nothing for us. Shirudo going in there. Go, go, Shirudo. You're the one who needs skills the most right now. Smack him up. Oh, these guys stand no chance. No chance, I say. Uh, Rangers, no need to rush out there and find new targets. Not right now. Just heal up and... Uh... Oh, there's no need to heal up. Well, that's even better. Let's go. We're almost there. Uh, they, didn't e they didn't even go to acid. They actually skirted this uh, edge over here. It was really good. There's a group of Band of Bones fighting the Nomads. Band of Bones have really high skills, so I think this could be a good fight for us. Uh, probably gonna get destroyed like these uh, these dudes did. But uh, let us go in there. Let's do attack hall. Just so we can, we can help. We can help over here. But uh, this is a good way to lose some limbs if you want to. Hazard is already down. Got destroyed in the stomach. I don't like that M473 is this close. Let's get you up top because we might really need you, Rangers, to do good. Uh, Guts is down as well. Nomads following leader and this guy's chasing them. <laughs> uh, but looks like we do have the numerical advantage, so it shouldn't be that bad. Severo, where are you going, buddy? He's gonna find an enemy or something like that. There you go, Nomads. Are you happy that we're helping? Severo, come back up here. There's there's nothing out there anymore. Let's go heal up. Let's go heal up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have Hazard down. It's going to be fine. Guts. Oh, Guts had injuries from before, but he's going to be fine. 
Okay, Tenno is gonna be fine. I think Bane went down. Yeah, but he's already fine. Okay, good. We took some uh, damage, but uh, nothing major. And I'm sure we're gonna get some skills out of that. I doubt these guys have anything good. Yeah, they have crappy weapons. I thought so. Well, they do have high-grade heart protectors. No, that thing sells for 2k. It's not so bad, but it's not something we're gonna be taking up right now. 100 seconds for you to reboot. 15 for you, 30 for you. And uh, we can just uh, smack everybody into the bar over there and heal up. It's gonna be easy enough. Well, what we could do is try stealing from one of these, wake them up and see how they feel about that. Uh, that one is waking up. Just that one. Ooh, Cortana's up. Get him, Ray. I think he got shot. Uh, nomads are going down there. Uh, we are going... Right, get back up here. No need to do. King's Guard, how are you doing? Tink. Tonk. Uh, these guys are gonna do just peachy. Gotta remember that, that they are out there on the doors. And they will be flashing red quite a lot, probably. Look at that swarm. <laughs> they thought they can do something against us. I don't think so. Jesus, look at these numbers. <laughs> oh my god. That's a slaughter. That is an absolute slaughter. Every hit we do is like five enemies being hit. Jeebus. You guys have made a terrible mistake coming over here. Yup. Yup. Terrible, terrible mistake. <laughs> Steve's are gonna step on you. Where are you going? Get your fancy asses back over here. I don't even know what are you chasing out there, but come on. I know you're fast, but this is stupid. Look at this. Just look at this. Oh my god. The horrors. <laughs> well... I guess that's what we can expect in the border zone. Although in the border zone, there's less. Uh, the groups are smaller of these guys. So we're gonna go to this way station that is out here. Because we've not been in here at all. We've not seen the Shek Kingdom, we've not seen the hub. And I am itching to see some of that. Who do we have out here? Starring Bennett's, more of them. Well, we'll just ignore them. So out on the edge of the swamp, I have found this unknown tower. It looks like the White Eyebrow clan lives over here. This is this one. White Eyebrow Tower. Now these guys are martial artists. So fighting them inside of a tower could be real dangerous. They do have crappy armor. So whatever hits them is probably going to down them. But there's a lot of them. Not exactly my enemy. Um, but I don't think that if I went there, they would be like, hey, buddy, let's party together. They'd be like, yeah, let's fight. Hmm. Well, let's send a Ray over here on a diplomatic mission. God damn it, I hate this mouse. <laughs> I'm getting a new one soon. I'm getting a new one. They should be sending me one soon. Soon, soon. Thank you. I would like to open your gates and, uh... See what you guys are all up to. Who the shit are you? Okay, they, they just want to fight. Okay, let's fight them outside. So they don't get benefits from... Uh, martial arts from the inside. Okay, let's fight. Let's go, boys. So they are definitely good martial artists. But I have a feeling we could... Uh, we could do some good. Versus them. Because they have crappy armor. Ma, you're going in, aren't you? We do have a lot of heavy weapons, so going inside with our heavy weapons, we're gonna be not doing so good. So staying outside and fighting whoever is outside would be preferable. And having Shirudo get his ass kicked is uh, not so good. Yeah, there's more of them coming out. I don't know if they have a leader over here. Uh, these guys have 15 martial arts. Yeah, that's pretty strong. That is pretty freaking strong. Rangers, how do you do? You are doing fine. Now, if there's any inside, which I'm guessing there should be plenty, we want them to come outside to face us. We don't want to uh, fight them inside. Oh, they're now hostile to us. I mean, you attacked us. What, what, what do you want? 
Um, okay. Night Dog. This guy is named, but he's weak. Oh, that's White Eyebrow. Oh, you're you're not very strong, and you actually have a weapon. Huh. Interesting. I expected you to be much stronger, to be honest. And it doesn't look like there's many of them in here. Now, I believe if we take these guys out, uh, the whole place is going to be taken over by, like, Black Desert Ninjas or something like that. Or maybe Swamp Ninjas. One of those ninja ninja peoples. So, that's kind of cool. That's part of the Kenshi Kaizo. Tech Hunters came in here. Hello, Techies. What are you doing here? What's up? <laughs> okay, Ray, let's go loot this fool. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he's got a Mei Too Long Cleaver. Holy shit. Well done. That was an easy Mei Too we just got. Well, that's another Mei Too hacker. Uh, I want you to be defensive, but this is only minus two defense. It's going to be way too heavy for you. Uh, but I still think Clank... Do you have a... I do have a hacker as well. Mm. But you already have your iconic moon cleaver. Kinda like that. We also have we have a lot of hacker people. Uh actually I might give it to Severo. Yeah, I might actually give it to Severo rather than Clank or Gnu. Mm. Although he has also a very cool weapon. Everybody has a very cool weapon. <laughs> but no, I think I'm gonna give it to Severo. Severo, let's put this on Steve. Let's go grab yourself a new weapon. Yeah. I think, uh... I think this is gonna be pretty good for you. Uh, you're gonna have troubles... Swinging that thing around, cause... Wow, that really made you slow. But it's gonna also make you stronger. In time. That's a really cool thing. Uh, so he's wanted by who? United Cities. We're not going to United Cities right now, so I'm just gonna let you be out here. If you die or if you don't die, that's, you know, up to you. But I'm sorry, uh, White Eyebrow, that we came in here and smacked you like that. All I wanted to do is just check in on you, see how do you do, you know? Uh, I don't really need your rum. Uh, but I will go through the tower and see if there's anything we can take. I mean, food is generally useful rum while well, we can sell it oh maybe we'll get rum since there seems to be uh, a lot of it yeah and i guess we can sell it Ooh, special is great samurai cloth pants nothing that amazing we have uh plenty of those to think but hey behemothian's roots are unknown however he was woken one day by a human the human told him they made modifications to him to make him big and strong. These humans would abuse him for their own personal benefit. So he killed them all and fled. He then served under a king and was one of the mightiest warriors of all time. He had no emotion and would make everyone tremble, even his king. Then one day the king was killed and chaos brewed. Everyone turned on him because he possessed the king's crown and he slaughtered everyone. He was the only one left and decided to go to sleep for the night in the Ice Age. He woke up the next day to find out that he was underground. He clawed his way to the surface to find that the Ice Age was now a great desert. He has been in hibernation for almost three millennia. Now he must find out what to do for he is lost and broken. You are no longer lost and broken my friend Behemothian. You are now the guardian of these gates. Look at all these big thing corpses. Yeah, these things uh, are coming in and these guys are getting some training. At least I hope. So far, only Akuma went down a bit and of course Tink and Tong get destroyed every time. But that's gonna hopefully level up their toughness as well. So, you know, we, we gotta get them stronger. Brother Marcus is getting stronger. Panzer is getting stronger. If I could click on him, I would totally tell you. And look, there's dead big things. and pile of not so dead ones so yeah these guys are doing just peachy i think this defense now works great because we have these guys up to do some dps and these guys to tank and of course tink tonk and akuma is going to be doing uh more dps as the time goes on 
as well. So I'm I'm happy with this setup. I'm very happy. Now, if we ever get any raids, this is gonna be even more interesting. We'll see how that eventually works. But for now, I'm I'm just happy with how our base is currently set up. I still don't have quite enough people, but hey, it still works nicely. Dr. Addison de Fay was once a prominent doctor within the Holy Nation. He was highly sought after by many of his exceptional skills with healing that some considered nothing short of a miracle. He was considered unconventional by many, but because of his skill, it was overlooked. He was visiting aboard a city, providing aid to holy knights when he was captured, in an attack and taken by bandits. He escaped shortly thereafter with another prisoner. However, when they were on the edge of starvation, the doctor made a choice. Upon consuming the unfortunate escapee, he discovered a new love and passion for flesh. He has since replaced his arms in order to remain excelled at his craft and has been rumored to charge people an arm or a leg for his service since then. He is now a wanted abomination by the Holy Nation and United Cities alike. He often changes his disguise and wears a mask to avoid being recognized. He heard rumors of a skeleton king from ages past who has risen. Not sure if curiosity or desperation drives him to find his creation and see if he can apply his services and possibly find a meal along the way. While his bedside manner and dining habits stand something to gain, he is still one hell of a doctor from hell. Welcome to the squad, Dr. Addison DeFay. Welcome to the squad, buddy. That's our new recruit we found at this way station over here. Uh, one hell of a story, I must say. Uh, currently, we don't really have gear for you, but you know, that's okay. We'll, we'll go to the hub and so on and so forth. And we're gonna get you a mask so you're not recognized and some light armor for you and potentially a staff. So, otherwise, you need to become our new medic. And I wonder if I can assign you to splint rigging as well. Let's go. That's good. That is very good. Okay. Um, yeah, we need to train his strength. Everybody was actually carrying a lot of people right now, so um, I guess we're gonna have you carry our mare or something. That seems like a good idea. Pick him up. That's gonna make you very slow, but it's it's a way for us to train you in strength that we you know just have to do because we can't have people with zero strength out here, can we now? Nope, <laughs> not at all. So uh, onwards to hub, I say. Hub is here, I believe. Yeah, I think it's there. Let's go. Look at that. These Dark Reavers are over here as well. Last time we met them, they were way up north. But they are over in here as well. That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll fight you, of course. We don't even need the full squad for this, I don't think. Attack. There's only, what, like five of them. They're scouts. Yeah, we can deal with these fools and maybe get some new skills in our boys. We'll see if uh, Addison survives his uh, first raid or his first fight, I should say. Shouldn't be a problem, really. And we'll actually be able to find some equipment for him, potentially. So Addison, he's a great doctor, by the way. He starts with 39 uh, at field medic, so it's going to be real good for starters. Yeah, this is, this is easy. Look at that. Addison is getting some uh, martial arts in there as well. Good stuff, buddy. Good stuff. Got his martial arts up to two. Look at that. Let's see if these guys have some good stuff. Yeah, look at that. Standard grade dust coat. It's exactly what you want. Uh, we'll even get you a better shirt. And you can have a better head item. Why not? Good. And Addison? Yeah, you're, you're looking more like a one hell of a doctor from hell now <laughs> oh that's even a high grade dust coat even better perfect we have an army coming towards us and it is the reavers again these guys you can see have 70s and 80s in their stats so they are pretty freaking strong all of them together and now they what they actually did is it was ingenious they came up here and usually or when they first attacked us they just went through gut and got destroyed but now they went all around and then started to come in here of course there's more beakers elders and such around here we'll see how they fare these guys have a pile of corpses <laughs> over here 
Uh, we'll see how our six defenders do. Uh, my guess is they won't do well. Because there's just not enough of them. Uh, please, loading, don't do this to me right now. There you go. Uh, I'm guessing these guys are just going to destroy the beakers. But they will take some damage. Look at that. Look at that AoE. This big thing is doing. So this is good. And we do have elders fighting. And they are... They are uh, uh, let's try and go bandits. Those those guys actually tried to attack us before uh, these guys did, but they never came anywhere close. Oh, they're they're definitely getting d dusted over here by all of our beaker defenders. That's surprising because these guys have really good stats. Oh, you know what it is? Their main problem is they're all bunched up together. So, you know, every time this beaker hits, it hits like five of them. And they're actually really. The big things are doing so good. Who'd have thought? And of course, the slaves. The slaves are not good. These guys are gonna go down pretty fast. I think they might take this uh, big boy down. But look at how much damage this thing is doing. And often, not everyone like this one isn't fighting. This try. This one is trying to heal. Oh boy. I think you guys are gonna fail. War leader Erisila. Well, I think you guys might fail. Oh, well, that bad boy beak just teleported on you. Ooh, yup. These guys ain't gonna do well. They're gonna get all eaten. I actually thought they're gonna get in. I actually thought the beakers are not gonna be too big of a deal for them. But to be honest, coming in in a big group is actually worse than trying to get in one by one. Because one by one, they can still kind of do something, you know? But when they call all bunch up together, the beakers just AOE them down. <laughs> Even though they have much better stats, well, than adult beak things. Nice. Well, that's a that's a good fight. Good job, beakers. Now this guy, he's alone over here. He's probably gonna be blocking this for ages. Even though he has just one arm left, he can just block them because you know his attack and defense are so high. The beaker shouldn't be able to get through them. And he never actually gets an attack off, because there's just so many of them. Well, that was anticlimactic. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just happy these guys over here are farming beakers. Look at that. Hilariously good. Oh, good stuff. I'm, I'm happy I put this defense up like this, because these guys are going to get some solid training. And of course, my rangers are doing the best. Everywhere you go, you find the big things, it seems. Oh, well. These ones are much less strong than the ones we're used to, though. Oh, that one has a lot of HP, but the others? Easy mode. Alright, well, good stuff. Um, nobody should have jobs right now. I would like you all to meet Alice the Resurrector, who has just joined us. Alice, you're hiding somewhere in the group. We'll, we'll show her soon. Everybody, put everybody down. Because we got beakers incoming. Okay. Hold. Move back. Let's get Ray off of hold. Stilo off of hold. Uh, Clanky boy. In there. Uh, Fenner. In there. Guts. You got this one. Maul. You got that one. Let's go in there, boys. Tang them. Oh boy, they're all gonna bunch up together, aren't they? Perfect, okay. Roscoe and Pico, get off of hold. Let's get your asses in there. Rangers, start doing your thing. And good. Smag them. Smag them beakers. This shouldn't be too hard. We're, we're used to dealing with these. We're definitely very, very, very much used to dealing with these. Oh yeah. I don't think anybody's taking much damage. Stila took some damage over there. They can still, they can still bite nastily, of course, but uh, we are also the ones doing the biting this time around. Oh, beakers. You know, remember when I said don't go towards beakers in a big group? Yeah, that was the one. Get you guys off of hold and uh, let me show you. This is Alice the Resurrector that we just, uh, we just got. Uh, we gave her this weapon because it's the only weapon we had. And this is the gear we had. So, welcome to the squad, Alice. We are gonna go towards uh, the hives right now. That was my goal. 
So we could, uh, so we could get a polar for Alice, because Alice what an polar. You guys fighting? I'm guessing that's Beakers, I guess. So uh, we'll see if we can find, because I don't believe in the Shack Kingdom out here there would be any polearms, just heavy weapons, you know. Originally a Greenlander hailing from the Holy Nation, Alice grew up with her mother missing and a strict, overbearing father. She hated the rules and the discrimination of the Holy Nation, and in her young adulthood she snuck out of her home of Stack, stealing a sword and some armor from her father and running as far as she could away from there. Hungry and desperate, she approached a group of travelers to beg for food. Unfortunately for her, her father had put out a bounty on her head for disobedience and theft, and these were bounty hunters. They tried to capture her, but swearing she'd never go back there, tried to defend herself, but was dispatched quickly by their overwhelming numbers and strength. They left her corpse in the sand, stripping the stolen items from her to use as a proof of her death. While her body was still warm, an ancient skeleton scientist found her body and took her back to his secluded lab. With his extensive research, he was able to create what seemed to be a miracle. He was able to transfer her brain into the CPU of a deactivated skeleton. She woke up, no longer hungry and shocked to be alive. However, something was different. She was able to feel the world like never before. And when she looked down at her hands, metal. The skeleton scientist kept her around a while to study his creation, but she couldn't sit still forever. She set out to find a way to get back at those who had wronged her the bounty hunters, her father, and most of all, the holy nation. And now, she has joined us and got hit by a white gorilla. Good stuff. Everybody, protect Alice. There's actually plenty of gorillas over here. Welcome, Alice, to the squad. Welcome. Um, as I said before, we went to the hives to find you a polearm, but the first hive village did not have a polearm, so we continue our search. I mean, we we wanted to go out here anyway, so doesn't matter uh, if we uh, if you go for the highs first and then the shack. So this is completely fine with me. Uh, the only problem with these gorillas is they do AOE damage like big things, but their damage is much much lower. You can see than what big things can do. So this is definitely not a problem if we have more people getting hit. Uh, and they do drop some uh, food. Sure, I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna take the meat off of them. Easy mode, because uh, mainly we need this meat for animals. You know, animals tend to eat quite a lot. We can give them raw meat. Look at that; they just started eating. So we're gonna go further down here to the next high village. Hope that there's gonna be a pole arm there. There's a high village up here, here somewhere as well. But uh, we're just gonna stick to Vane. What is coming? I hear my dogs being loud. That usually means there's something coming. Yes, it's beakers. Once again, it is beakers. They probably smell those corpses. They were like, yeah, we're coming for you, boys. We're coming for you. Okay, uh, everybody here, hold. Uh, I just want our stronger fighters on beakers because uh, I don't want too many people getting hit. Uh, Fenner. You get that one. Guts. You get that one, I guess. It's only four of them. Yeah, yeah, we Gucci. We Gucci. Roscoe, run in there. Pico, run in there. You do some DPS, boys. Well, these guys are doing just fine. These guys are doing just peachy. I think uh, Roscoe and Pico are doing a lot of uh, damage. Just raw output. They, they bite for a lot. They certainly do buy f bite for a lot. This guy should go down. Eh, they have some HP. But uh, nothing wrong with her. And of course, Stilo. With his 68 melee attack now. Yeah, he's he's a beast. He is an absolute beast. I'm, I'm happy uh, we got him that weapon. Because it's really, really good. I mean, it's not that huge on the like just raw damage from one hit. But, you know, it stacks up because it's a really fast weapon, so he can swing that pretty fast. It's not very heavy, and yeah, it just gets a lot of damage done. Uh, is there... Oh, there's a nest right in the middle of the road. Well, that's good. That's some more money for us. 
Oh look, it's more gorillas. I didn't even freaking notice them. They're right in the middle of this high village that we just arrived to. Hey, you, you bastards. Why are you not fighting the hivers? Also, why are you guys standing in the, in the acid? Oh, I remember, this was a problem. So, uh, when, uh, look at these guys, they're not even fighting. Tag that thing. When I uh, was doing my Holy Nation, make Holy Nation Great Again playthrough, and we went to take out the Western Hives, half of my troops were just standing in acid water constantly, getting obliterated. It was a lot of fun. It was it was great, you know. It was uh, awesome seeing them trying to just swim across and then complain how much it hurt swimming across. It was yeah, it was. It was beautiful. I remember those days. Those were good days, good times. Let's see if these guys have a pull arm for uh, Alice. Get in, please don't steal. Just get in there, Alice. Let's get in there. Let's get you a pull arm, maybe. Hey, buddy, you got it? You do not have it. What is this madness? Why do you not have any pull arms for me? <sighs> I guess we're gonna. I guess we're gonna hit one more uh, high village, and then we're just gonna back to Shacklands. I did buy all the research for like chest items, so that's good. And I'm also buying all of these hive research things, so we can get some hiver armor if uh, if we can. I think that would be great. That would be just peachy. And let's see. You will want these, yeah? Yeah. There you go. You can have them. Awesome. All right, no pole arms over here as well. Who are you guys shooting at? Who are you guys shooting at? Stop this. They don't want to stop this. Oh, there's more... Uh, these bad boys coming. Uh, let them be. Let them be. I don't want you guys going into acid again. Uh, should have gone to that village. We just passed it by. I, you know what? Screw that. We're gonna go to Admech. We'll find you something. Would you please? Oh my god. Fine. Fight the gorillas. Don't run into acid water, though. Just, that's all I'm asking. Nice hit there, Roscoe. You see how much she bites for? It's really good. Very much appreciate that. Roscoe and Stilo. Doing good together. Pika's coming in for it as well. These guys just don't care. Get out of the freaking water. Everybody over here. I'm pretty sure half of the group is on hold. Don't want none of that. Let's go to AdMag. Let's go check out the shack. The mighty AdMag. We have arrived. Hello, hundred guardians. What's your fragile bones? Don't make me mad. I'm gonna let Stilo smack you if you're gonna make me mad. So, I'm guessing that's the faction HQ. Yep. And we wanna go... Check the weapon shop first. You never know. Maybe they'll have a pole arm. I doubt it, but maybe they'll will. Uh, we're also gonna go check the armor shop soon. But first, would you please get inside? Thank you. Let's go talk to this man. I said let's trade. Trade? Thank you. What is wrong with you? There you go. We got research for fragment X and can I say bow? Good. Do you have anything more than Katan 1s and 2s? Not really. Katan 3 there. Ah, that's, that's bad. That's really bad. So, truly, the skeletons who are we currently at war with will have the best stuff and we can't even get to them. How fun. How awesome is that, huh? Yeah. Bullshit. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. Let's go check the armor shop. They might have something that we don't have yet. Uh, oh well. Makes me slightly sad. They didn't have anything better. I, I still want to get like a... At least mark something for Ray. I mean, we'll, we got some ancient science books so far. So at least we'll be able to make it ourselves. Uh, now that's potential recruits over here. I don't know if I want to grab any... Any more Shack recruits right now? I mean, I do. I always want to, but... Oh, there's a Skull Knight armor here. And uh, do I want that one? Holy Chestplate will take. 
Open hunt. Oh, hunter jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have any of those yet. Those are these ones. It's an open hunter jacket. This one was just a hunter jacket. Fine, we'll take the skull knight armor as well. I want to test these out. I've never actually played with them before. They look pretty cool. It's a hunter, a hunter jacket. It's a medium uh, leather stuff. That's hunter boots. Cool. I like this. Uh, and they have some old samurai stuff. Old samurai stuff is actually good because you don't have any malices on it like you have on the like the proper samurai. You have like minus eight melee attack. This thing doesn't have any of that, but it has less coverage. You see, this one has 85. This one has 75. I think the protection is slightly worse as well, but it's okay. Uh, Alice, how about we give you this hunter jacket? I want to try it out. Because, I, as I said, I never had anybody wear it. So, let's see how it looks on you. That actually looks pretty dope. There's, you know, because of the skeleton model, there's some uh, glitching stuff. But, that looks actually pretty freaking cool. I'm happy. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep this one. It's only uh, standard grade, so it's not the best. But, uh, I'm sure we're gonna be able to make better ourselves. Cool. Okay, it's, well, it wasn't all that bad. It wasn't all that bad, right? Let's get you out of here. Let's uh, let's learn all of these, and uh, let's get everybody over here to the shinobi. Let's where are the shinobi? Hello? Oh, they're here. They're usually there, but they are here, which is also fine, because I want to go see if they have any backpacks for us. I'm guessing you are the leader. No, you're the traitor. Oh, yes, good. Two backpacks. We still have some people without backpacks, so... Let's see. Alice gets one, and I think Shrudo needs one, and then everybody should have one. Yeah? Yeah, let's go. Good stuff. Good, good, good. I'm happy with this. I don't know if you noticed, but I bought Addison a Swamp Ninja mask, because he said he has a mask. So, there you go. You got yourself a mask. Well, these guys could have a polar, maybe. So far, nothing of the kind. You kind of need a secondary as well, so we're going to get you that. And we're still going to keep Edison on nothing there. Because Edison had said that they want a staff or nothing. And so far, no staff, no polearm, no nothing. We have arrived to a patchwork armor shop. Now, if you don't know about this, this is a modded content. It's a right over here and this thing adds a ton of cool stuff basically a, con a ton of cool stuff i'll show you what kind of armors these guys have uh, actually have and they're usually you know there's this man <laughs> very sturdy so look at these look at how cool this armor looks and some of it are pretty freaking strong like pretty pretty freaking strong and that's also a specialist ranger coat that's really nice. Uh, you can see it's like a coat combined with, um, what's that? Uh, medium leather, yeah, there you go, mercenary leather armor. So that combination, it makes it a heavy armor leather class. I think, you know what, Karateno? You've been wearing this, but how about we upgrade you? I think you will like this. I think this is nice. They also have these really cool looking adventure rack sacks. Uh, and a lot of recipes that we're gonna buy. I've, I used a lot of this armor in uh, uh, what was it called? Make Holy Nation Great Again playthrough. So yeah, you need the crafting bench first and then you can get all of the stuff. There's Some of these are also belt slots. You also have like quivers uh, for the back and uh, yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. These barbaric breast breastplates are very sturdy. They're heavy armor metal plate uh, they have solid protection, not on both arms, unfortunately, but solid protection nonetheless. Uh, no stomach protection, though, which is a slight problem, but otherwise they don't have many malices. They even have a defense bonus, which is great. So, yeah, uh, a lot of cool stuff. And these things pr pr provide a lot of protection from acid and gas and such, so it's kind of cool. I'm just going to buy all the recipes that we can get, and we're going to use some of these. Patchwork armor pants, prayer beads, that's that thing. I don't think we're gonna buy that. 
Don't need that. Leather zucchini, joining clothes, Hanya mask, leather shoes, shorts. Uh, don't need that one. That's the belt slot. There we go. Armor dust coat. It's like the ranger coat, but it's a dust coat. And there's an the armored ranger coat. Barbaric bust blade and monk rags. So we didn't get the armor jacket, patchwork armor jacket. This one's a pretty cool medium metal plate. I like those. Uh, I'm not going to use too many of those because, as I said before, I use them in one of my other playthroughs a lot. But I will I will still grab some. We spent, like, probably 200,000, more than 200,000 money on just buying recipes uh, on this expedition. So, we're going to be able to make a lot of stuff when we whenever we get back. Right now, everybody is carrying whoever they can because I want to get some skills. So, I think we're going to go to Squin. And we're gonna see if we can buy some uh, weapon recipes there. And after that, I think it's gonna be that's gonna be it for today's episode. Then I, it's I have some decisions. Do we go into swamps, do some more training? Do we go up here and try to hack into what's it called, Narcos Trap? Or do we go around here? There's a there's a lab over here, or it's a library actually, not a lab, infested by spiders. We can get some ancient science books over there, so we could do that one. We could even swing down here and do some hunting over here, but that's that's a very dangerous ruin, and there's a lot of ruins down here we could get some stuff from. So we'll see. Uh, oh look, it's starving bandits. Sub boys. Uh, we got people ready for you. Don't you worry about that. I'm not gonna even take uh, people off right now. I want to see how these guys do. Edison the Fey. Oh, look at those dodges. Look at those dodges. That's pretty good. Dexterity is going up nicely for Edison. Do it, Edison. Do it. Uh, how about Alice? Alice is swinging that big thing and getting smacked around a bit. By starving bandits. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, Alice. Addison, how are you doing? Who are you gonna punch? Are you trying to kick? It's not it's not going that well. Ooh, that was a leg flying, arm flying away. Oh no. The horror. Yeah. We chopped them up. Easy mode. I mean, fighting these guys are not really gonna provide us with much, but it still provides training. Uh, over here for like Edison up to eight in martial arts and Alice got some attack points because you know these two are very low on skills anyway so hey maybe in some toughness because we're not using everybody to fight right now everybody's slightly injured anyway we're going off to uh, off to squint now I just saved all of these shag boys they were all stuck at the gates over here and uh, the gates were not passable so control shift f11 saved them <laughs> Good for you. Good for you guys. Now you can go out there. But looks like Shack Kingdom has some serious uh, serious patrol out, patrols out here. I kind of like this. We should also be able to find Ruka over here. I don't know if you're going to recruit Ruka. I mean, she, she's been in many of my playthroughs. I'll look at the 100 Guardians over here with their uh, beautiful, beautiful 100 attack. 100 attack with a heavy weapon. That will destroy you. That will do some serious damage. Oh well, uh, we're not at war with them right now, so I can be I can be happy. I still remember my wars as a holy nation with the Shack Kingdom. We lost many of a good warrior towards them. Well, I didn't I didn't use the stronger group combat back then, so my dudes mostly had like 15 attacks, while well, these guys had 80. Uh, but holy shit, they did a lot of damage. There were a lot of limbs chopped off. There were a lot of kills. As well, uh, especially Asara. Asara, oh, she was nasty. Okay, uh, weapon shop is closed. Armor shop is closed. Everything is closed. Come on, open up. It's almost 6 in the morning. We're going to speed up time, so they should open up. They should open up at 6. I want to check this out. So yeah, uh, let's put everybody down right now. And it's open. Good. Let's get right in. If you if you've not seen my uh, playthrough, as make Holy Nation great again. You should check it out. It's pretty cool. Long cleavers already known. Kathan three. Please tell me. Oh, let's go. Mark two. Kana Saibo. 
Oh, now we're talking. Mark three, Polank. Okay, okay. Anything else? There's a uh, Mark two huge cleaver. All right. Well, you you got some stuff. It's not the best. So, I did take Kanasai bow, which is a lot of blunt. 37 kilos, while this one is just, what, 19. Yeah. And we do have Mark III Plank. This thing has bonuses, though. Attack bonuses. I kind of like attack bonuses. And, of course, we have this thing. But I think we do have Bane. He has a Mark III, so no worries there. Uh, oh, Severe, right. We got a May II for you. You have a Mark I that we made. It's fine. You guys have May II weapons anyway. So, it's only... Yeah, it's only Ray. So, Ray, let's give this to Steve. And I think I'm gonna grab, instead of a plank... While I like planks, let's grab this Kanasai bow. I wanna... I wanna play with it a bit. It costed a lot, but... Ray? He's now freaking badass. Look at that weapon, though. Oh, Ray is... Yeah, Ray is a badass. Now, if he didn't carry this thing... Uh, let's get him outside. He, he's gonna have some attack bonuses, so that's good. And that's what is important. So he has 54, 49. So he's he's getting penalti penalized by uh, the samurai armor, you know, less melee attack. Otherwise, he would be over 60, but that's really good defense for him. So I'm happy. I'm happy with this weapon. I think this is gonna be great. I think Ray's gonna be, well, whenever he gets more strength, he's gonna be swinging that like a popsicle or something. <laughs> Let's quickly jump into an armor shop as well, see if we can spend some more money, and then we really need to start thinking about making money again, because I've been I've been really spending a lot. Okay, that's gonna be you, right? Let's do business. What you got? Mm, anything we don't have? Drifter's boots. Sure, we're gonna take those. Anything special over here? I don't think so. So back at home at the base, we have a bit of a shortage going on right now. And the shortage is of iron plates. Since we started doing the steel production, all of the iron plates got used over there. We got pretty much nothing. Even though we have a ton of iron, we just don't have enough uh, refineries to produce enough iron plates. And that's why I'm building this another one. This is going to be automatic one. We just need to haul uh, iron in here and it's going to be done. But we don't have iron plates to build it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Akuma, Tink and Tonk. These guys are gonna actually, you know what, just grab one of them. Tonk is enough. Akuma and Tonk are gonna go out there and they're gonna make they're gonna make their way over here to hang and buy some of that. Now the question is, Akuma, how fast are you? 26. If you were to carry this man, you won't be faster than if you both go together. Okay. Well, these two guys are hopefully gonna get past all the goddamn big things out here and make their way where they need to go stop this though I don't want them fighting uh, an elder right now <laughs> you guys shoot that thing oh they, they shot that thing though oh they shoot it yeah good <laughs> I think this big thing was up top <laughs> that's fun so these two guys are gonna make their way to hang and hopefully get enough there's also this wrecked crimper that uh, didn't have a lot of fun with his nomad buddies. So yeah, whenever these guys come back, we'll be we'll be hopefully have enough iron plates to build us, and then the iron plate production should skyrocket again, and we should you know have enough of everything. Cause I want to build that uh, new leather working bench that we got, and I can't remember right now what it's called. It's uh, it's the one from the patchwork armor shop. So basically that one. The boys are back in town. Welcome. We can put Akuma back on work duty and uh, Tonk is gonna go through the gates. Hope that nobody else tries to go through the gates in the meantime. Trying to look for corpses to burn them. Nope. Uh, I also bought a bunch of these books because we're gonna need them. And I forgot to sell my carbon. Oh well. Uh, you know, shit happens. Okay, let's get let's get you over here. And we can deliver all the... I think we got like 36. Yeah, 36. That should now be good enough for uh, the boys to go build that secondary thing. And uh, it's gonna be 
just good just good for us uh, Tonk is gonna go back to guarding the gates I love this I love the way this is working right now I think this is good and uh, whenever Lugathum builds uh, this thing I'm gonna actually speed up Lucy why not an engineer you should totally be an engineer buddy let's have you work on this and then we can eventually upgrade old Sean's uh, thing as well there you go so this one is now automatically working it takes a lot of power but we do have plenty of power now so I need somebody 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 to deliver stuff over here so cryos your first goal is gonna be to just haul to this refinery so you fill it up with iron and it's gonna do its own thing but whenever it's full of iron plates we're gonna need somebody to deliver those iron plates as well so cryos your secondary goal is gonna be to deliver iron plates to one of these so maybe that one so this is that. I wonder if I had him on operate. Hmm. But no, he, he done well. He done well. I like this. So this one is being operated by one person now. DMX is mining over here. Uh, old Sean is operating that. So we could uh, upgrade this one as well. It's just 13 iron plates to upgrade it. And we should have... Yeah, we do have extra. So if you upgrade this one, this one is also going to be automatic. So all we need then is to deliver stuff and that's going to be it. We have one person only working steel refinery. So after that, I think we can put old Sean to help with the steel refinery business. Now this is all, you know, just not working because we are just full on materials on carbon and everything. Uh, I think old Sean feels these as well. Yeah. So we could definitely set up a lot more of these uh, generators and just have enough power don't even need to worry about these generators that are also producing in fact way more fuel than we can carry right now these are even almost full Raleen has been uh, hauling all of that in here interesting okay uh, I also told my boy Templar to make us oh I was on the right screen to make us a Pragman X but it's a Catan 3 I'm slightly disappointed that you're failing on that Mark 1 thing. And um, I didn't want him to just craft more just due to the fact that we currently do not have enough um, enough steel to keep on the production, you know. Or should I say we don't have enough iron plates to keep up the production of steel and then the production of that. But hopefully eventually that's going to get fixed and that's going to that's gonna be a thing. Now, Arthur over here is training, trying to make long coats. Let's see, how is Arthur? Arthur is at 77 armor smith. So just three more levels and he's going to be guaranteeing uh, specialist grades, which is great. And this is going to be also some money that we can make whenever we go sell this. You can see we've, we've made a bunch so far. This thing should probably not be here. Should probably put it on somebody's head. Might be very useful. I like, I like uh, flared helmets. They are, they are pretty good. Shame the Skellies can't really wear helmets, but that's okay. So yeah, we know what we're doing now, kinda. Uh, just before I finish, let's see how many iron plates does it take to build that patchwork. I think this is, yeah, this is the patchwork armor. It's 10 iron plates. I think we can uh, afford that with uh, no real trouble. We can put it up top, potentially. Uh, can I put it in this corner? I wonder. Yeah, no, it's just a bit too big. How about up top? That'd be great if it could, but doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, you know what? Smack it right next to this uh, stairway. Stair... Stairway? There you go. That thing. And uh, let us build maybe some storage as well next to it. And that one, that one is just gonna be for uh, any of this patchwork armor that we can that we can craft. In any case, uh, this uh, this is where we're gonna finish the episode. Next episode, we're gonna go further into the swamps and you know more exploration and such. But for now, thank you, buddy, for watching. Do hope you enjoyed us. Uh, click that notification bell below if you want to see more from me, and I will see you guys next time. For now, go crowd.